What's up guys, it's Aaron Nitmar and welcome to Project M. Today, as you can tell by the video title and thumbnail, we are going to be taking a look at the unreleased Knuckles character for what I assume was going to be Project M 4.0. Um, you can see that there are four characters on the screen that were never released. Those being Knuckles, Lynn, Isaac, and Sammy. Um, I obviously covered these a long time ago when the first leaked build first came out, but I never gave them a proper uh, a showcase, one for each video, and I never really went too deep into their movesets, if I recall. So that's what we are going to do uh, in this video. Uh, and in the next handful of videos, we're going to be focusing on uh, one of the characters per video. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into this. This is Project M Community Complete, as you can see, Project M CC, uh, which was basically a community attempt to finish and release everything that was planned for Project M uh, 4.0. Unfortunately, uh, not everything was completed, and uh, we don't have everything, but Knuckles was actually basically done. I think like one or two things were needed to be polished, but Knuckles was basically done and ready for release. So very, very upsetting that he didn't actually get to be in the full Project M release, but uh, yeah, obviously he's based on Sonic, but his moveset could not be more different as far as like utility. Like yeah, he's got the spin dash, yeah he's got the spring, but there's a lot to go over that uh, Sonic does not have and Knuckles has very unique to him. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into that. All right, first let's look at his jab. His jab of course is just a punch and then a uppercut kind of uh, secondary punch. And then of course he's got a uh, a multi-hit jab move, kind of like Fox, Falco, characters like that. Um, I don't think Sonic has that, I think he's just got the 1-2. So Knuckles has this and uh, you know, you can trap an opponent in it. Um, sort of like that. So that's his jab. Next up, let's look at Knuckles' tilt. So first off is up tilt, which has him sort of just punching into the air. Stand up Sonic, there we go. All right, next is forward tilt, which is just a, uh, a punch forward. I did it uh, on accident when I did the jab. That is a uh, his forward tilt. And then, oh, he's up here now. And then his down tilt, which is a sweep downward with his uh, his fists. All of them involve his fists because, of course, Knuckles has them big fists that can punch and got the spikes at the end. So all those are uh, his tilts. Next, let's take a look at his grab, pummel, and throws. This is his grab and his pummel. Of course, he punches you because, you know, Knuckles don't chuckle. He got a punch. Uh, and then these are his uh, throws. So first, that's up throw. He jumps into the air and then slams you down. Here's down throw, he punches you into the ground. Pretty self-explanatory. Forward throw, he headbutts you, which is actually pretty cool. And then back throw, he spins you around and launches you backwards. Obviously, obviously you can tell, uh, it looks like back throw is his strongest one because it sends you the furthest. Um, so I'm sure with uh, with a lot of percent, he would actually, that actually could be considered a kill throw. You see how far it sends him with only 60%. Yeah, see, 110% at the edge. He uh, he absolutely uh, has a kill throw. Uh, and then the other ones are, of course, substantially strong. But uh, that one, I think, is the uh, the ideal one for killing. Kind of like how Sonic has a back throw kill throw. Same with, uh, same with Knuckles. All right, next up, let's take a look at his smash attacks. First thing we have is, of course, forward smash, which is an explosive punch. And, of course, the uh, the longer that you charge this up, the more explosive and the farther... The, uh, the damage is and knockback is going to be. Um, but yeah, he's got an explosive punch as his forward smash, which is pretty cool. Up smash is similar in aesthetics. It is just a explosive punch upwards. And he's up here now. So yeah, that is uh, his, up, his up smash. Uh, you can tell it's actually not as strong as the forward smash. Uh, because the forward smash straight up killed, you know, when I just flicked the C-stick. But uh, uh, flicked up smash doesn't actually kill. Gets pretty close. Of course, that's going to depend on you know the height of the stage and things like that. But uh, but yeah, it, it, it's s substantially weaker than forward smash. Uh, I will admit. All right, next up is down smash, which is pretty unique. It is a uh, a burrow move where he gets into the ground and uh, uh, he kind of just hides underground. The longer you charge it, the longer he'll stay under there. So he is kind of safe while he's under there, but only for the length of a charged smash attack. Um, and then, of course, as you can see, you can sort of jump out directionally. So I can jump out back. I can jump out forward. Uh, and Or I think, can I jump up higher? No, but I can. No, you can't jump out of it. Okay. I thought you could jump out of it, but you can't. So, yeah, you can do it straight up normal, or you can do it backwards or forwards. Uh, 
And then, of course, you can, you know, vary the, uh, the distance you use that for. Uh, but it's pretty cool and unique move. Um, no one else has it, obviously. And, uh... I, okay, I didn't mean to down tilt there. But yeah, it, if you do it on a platform, like here, you're just gonna drop down to the bottom. It will, of course, hit them, but uh, you'll still drop down to the bottom because he obviously doesn't have any ground to burrow in. Um, but yeah, pretty unique down smash, honestly, and just a pretty unique move in general. Um, and I like how I can, like, ruin the gardening of uh, Green Hill Zone here. But uh, a pretty cool down smash, honestly. Um, rather unique one, and of course the longer you charge it, the more it's going to, uh, to do damage and knockback-wise. But, uh, yeah, those are his smash attacks. Alright, now quickly let's take a look at Knuckles' aerials. None of them really need too much explanation, so I'm just going to go through them really quickly. First is Knuckles' neutral air. He does a sort of kick pose. Kind of reminds me of Mario or Dr. Mario's, uh, neutral air. Um, I'm not entirely sure if it's a sex kick or not, but, uh, it definitely is, um... It's similar in, in animation. Um, then there's forward air, which is uh, just a punch. Kind of reminds me of Ganondorf's forward air. Um, but of course, it uh, is more appropriate for Knuckles uh, as far as like um, how, how the move works. Um, then there is a back air, which uh, is basically just he lunges his like shoulder and his, uh, and his head at the opponent. It actually is, has a, quite a small hitbox as... Uh, as weird as that is, the hitbox actually matches very, very close. Um, but yeah, that's his back air. Next up is his down air, which is a spike. Like that. You can see it spikes you straight down. So, uh, has utility both on and off stage. And uh, let me reset the damage there. And then finally, we have Knuckles up air, which is just a headbutt. Um, someone in Project M has this, has this, uh, animation. It actually reminds me a lot of Ness's up air, actually. But, uh, yeah, these are, uh, all of Knuckles' aerials. Um, forward air, back air, up air, down air, and neutral air. Alright, now it's time for Knuckles' special move. So first, he's got a neutral B, of course, which, uh, is a skyward punch, I guess. Uh, he launches into the air if it's grounded and then uh, hits the ground, and you can see that uh, obviously his his fist is doing a significant amount of damage. It is, of course, edge cancelable, like I did just there. If you do it in the air, uh, he'll just do it from where, wh whatever point you're at. It gets a little bit of a, like a uh, height advantage, so uh, that sometimes is usable. But uh, yeah, that is his, uh, his neutral B. If you're high percent, oh, I did not mean to reset the percent, but uh, if you're high percent, it can be a kill move. You can see it does quite a bit of knockback. So uh, that's just neutral B. Pretty cool one um, and very appropriate for Knuckles. Next up is Knuckles side B, which is his classic glide. So you can see he glides. Can't do it forever like he can in uh, other Sonic games, of course, because that would be kind of broken. But uh, this is his glide. If you do it while grounded, it will do just a little slide, which uh, does have a, a hitbox. But uh, its main utility is going to be in the air. And obviously, it's going to be a huge recovery option. Uh, so as you can see, you know, you can get back to the stage pretty freely. Um, it also comes with uh, the ability to climb. Um, I believe Project MCC actually has nerfed the climb a bit, because I believe in the leaked build, it was actually a much longer climb. But as you can see, this is how long the climb works in, uh, in Project MCC. Uh, it's very short. You literally just get a little bit of air and then uh, you fall. And I don't think it's any, like, error of mine. I think it's literally just how it works in, uh, in this version of Project M. Um, but obviously you can use it to, uh, to get to the wall, climb, and then just sort of use, uh, a recovery option. Wall jump, use your up B, what have you. Um, but yeah, that is, uh, that is his side B. Very, very unique, and I, I'm really glad that, uh, this was decided to be his side B. Um, Sonic 3 and Knuckles is my favorite Sonic game personally, so I'm glad that, uh, his glide, which I believe originated in that game, um, actually has, uh, has some representation there. Of course, it's been in other games, but, uh, I'm a huge 2D Sonic fan, so, uh, that is why I appreciate it as, uh, what it is from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Uh, we can look at his up B, um, which is very basic. It is just the spring. Um, a lot shorter than Sonic's is, of course, um, when, while done in the air. Uh, not too much, actually. You know, you can you can get pretty low. Um, and then co combined with the the ability to uh, to glide, wall cling, wall jump, uh, use the up B spring. 
Uh, Knuckles has a very, very good recovery, so uh, you're, you're going to have a hard time dying as Knuckles, honestly. Um, because even out here, uh, the, the glide doesn't even end until, like, right at the wall. And then from there, you can just, you know, up B, wall climb, or uh, wall jump. So, uh, yeah, very good recovery, in my opinion. Finally, his down special, very basic. It's just, you know, the spin dash. Uh, not as good as Sonic's, I don't think, and the animation is a little bit weird as well. I'm not entirely sure if that was on purpose or not. But, uh, yeah, that is Knuckles' uh, down B, and those are all of his specials. Real quick, neutral B, up B, side B, and down B. Yep. All right, now his taunts. This is his up taunt. Where Knuckles actually chuckles for once. I can't believe it. They actually made him chuckle. Um, and then there's a side taunt. He says, bring it on. And then down taunt. And it means that we now know his strength. So those are all of his taunts. Uh, I don't believe there's any Easter eggs with his taunts. Um, these are all just the normal three taunts. Uh, I don't think there was any time to add any Easter eggs. Because like I said, development ended. Um, but yeah, that is Knuckles. Uh, and because I know some people are going to ask, we'll take a look at his final smash. If I can get the smash ball. Oh my gosh. Alright. Uh, it is exactly like Sonic's down to now I'll show you. Um, but of course he is Hyper Knuckles. Or uh, Super Knuckles, I should say. But uh, yeah, that is Knuckles in a nutshell. Very fun character. Um, I believe of all of the unreleased characters in Project M, he was the only one that was actually basically finished. Like I said, there were some things that needed to be tweaked, and I'm sure he had some nerfs like in the pipeline, um, as well as some alternates and things like that. Um, but he was, for the most part, done. So I'm rather sad that he never got to uh, see the light of day as far as an official release. It would have been awesome to see you know, what the Project M dev team would have had to do. Uh, up their sleeve as far as you know all as far as trailers go um, Things like that. I uh, I would have been very excited to see that but uh, You know, we're, I'm glad we got him at least at some point um, Even if it was a leaked character. It is still a, uh, a still a fun character um, That is going to be it for uh, this video. Thank you all for watching um, if you'd like to uh, to see any of the other leaked characters in a video, please let me know in the comments uh, which one you want to see next, and uh, that'll be it. If you uh, enjoyed the video, be sure to hit like, and uh, if you're not already, be sure to subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Peace out, and be sure to chuckle.